Barbados to remove Queen Elizabeth as head of state. In this photo you see, Queen Elizabeth, who visited Barbados in 1977, is the island nation's head of state. Barbados has announced its intention to remove Queen Elizabeth as its head of state and become a republic. The time has come to fully leave our colonial past behind, the Caribbean island nation's government said. It aims to complete the process in time for the 55th anniversary of independence from Britain, in November 2021. A speech written by Prime Minister MIA Motley said Barbadians wanted a Barbadian head of state. This is the ultimate statement of confidence in who we are and what we are capable of achieving, the speech read. The statement was part of the throne speech, which outlines the government's policies and programs ahead of the new session of parliament. While it is read out by the Governor-General, it is written by the country's Prime Minister. The speech also quoted a warning from Errol Barrow, Barbados's first Prime Minister after it gained independence, who said that the country should not loiter on colonial premises. His is not the only voice in Barbados that has been suggesting a move away from the monarchy. A Constitutional Review Commission recommended Republican status for Barbados in 1998. And Ms. Motley's predecessor in officer, Freundel Stewart, also argued for a move from a monarchical system to a republican form of government in the very near future. Barbados would not be the first former British colony in the Caribbean to become a republic. Guyana took that step in 1970, less than four years after gaining independence from Britain. Trinidad and Tobago followed suit in 1976 and Dominica in 1978. All three stayed within the Commonwealth, a loose association of former British colonies and current dependencies, along with some countries that have no historical ties to Britain. Barbados Key Facts One of the more populous and prosperous Caribbean islands gained its independence from Britain in 1966. Queen Elizabeth remains its constitutional monarch, and once heavily dependent on the sugar exports, its economy has diversified into tourism and finance. Its Prime Minister is MIA Motley, elected in 2018 and the first woman to hold the post news from BBC. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.